Do not deny your instincts, Summoner. Hey everybody, Pharaoh here with League Top 10, and this week, in addition to the normal champion guides, we're going to be doing something a little bit special. With this patch comes League of Legends' first new champion since release, and since everyone is going to be clamoring for him at the champion select, we thought it would be nice to give you a little preview of what's to come. League Top 10 presents Udyr. Udyr breaks free from the rest of the champions so far in that he has a passive and four regular abilities as opposed to a passive, three abilities, and an ultimate. A lot of people are incredibly skeptical of this design method, but to see this design as a success, you only have to look at Kale, the Invoker, from Dota. Now, for Udyr's abilities. Udyr's passive is called Monkey's Agility, and each time Udyr enters a stance, he gains an attack speed and dodge buff. This buff doesn't stack in the traditional sense of refreshing once refreshes the entire stack. Instead, each stance shift gives you a buff with its own timer, lasting approximately 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, the buff falls off regardless of how many other buffs you have going or how recently you added one. With a global stance cooldown of 4 seconds, this gives you a hard cap of 3 stacks with roughly a 50% uptime. As you can see, Udyr's hair changes depending on the stance he's in. Udyr's Q ability is called Tiger Stance. Now, the cool thing about stances is that they have two effects. One for initially entering the stance, and one for being in the stance. Tiger's activated effect makes your next hit deal multiplied damage over 3 seconds, depending on rank. At max level, this is 2.5 times your attack damage over 3 seconds. The passive effect of Tiger Stance is twofold. The first effect is that it increases your attack speed by a sizable amount, something like 50% at max level. The secondary effect is that it splits your attack damage over three lightning quick attacks. Unfortunately, on hit effects only proc off the initial hit. The W ability is Turtle Stance. Turtle Stance's activated effect provides him with a small shield, about 360 at rank 5, to absorb incoming damage. The shield scales with ability power at a ratio of 1 to 5 so every 100 ability power nets you an extra 20 damage absorbed. Turtle's passive makes it so your attacks cannot crit, but you gain a percentage, once again based on rank, of damage dealt back in health and mana. Note that this stance does let you lifesteal buildings and is rather useful for jungling. Your E ability is Bear Stance. Upon entering Bear Stance, you gain a movement speed bonus based on rank for 3 seconds. At rank 5, the bonus is 30%. While you're in Bear Stance, each of your hits stun your target for 1 second, but this cannot occur on the same target too often. With 1 point in Bear Stance, there's a 9 second grace period where your attack won't stun the target, and with 5 points, that window is reduced to 5 seconds. Keep in mind that Bear is incredibly good for closing a gap and for interrupting channeled effects, so try and make sure it's up when you need it. Rotating stuns can be beneficial, but it's important to know when doing so is appropriate. Phoenix Stance is your final ability. Upon entering Phoenix Stance, you send out 5 pulses for a very small amount of damage. I believe it's 35 damage per tick at level 5. The pulses gain the same ability power scaling as the Phoenix passive and the Turtle Shield, which is 1 to 5. The Phoenix passive launches damage in a small cone directly in front of Udyr on every third hit. The damage is sizable, going up to roughly 200 at rank 5. The cone is rather small, so relying on it to harass for you during the laning phase may leave you feeling defenseless. But it's worth noting that I believe Early Phoenix is one of the strongest builds due to its scaling with both attack speed and ability power. Now that we're done looking at all of his abilities, this is usually the part where I tell you what items to buy. But because this is a preview, I'm not allowed to do that. 
you see, Udir is really new, and there are going to be tons of different builds, and they're all going to be proven to be useful in their own right. So it's up to you to go out and build him however you want and find what's most effective. What I can do for you is let you know what I've found effective in my initial testing. From what I've seen, Sheen is invaluable for any build due to the frequency of his stance switching. And to maintain the mana for the constant switching, I'm going to have to recommend you pick up a chalice. Lizard buff plus Sheen plus Tiger Stance make for obscene amounts of damage in the early game, almost bursting down a champion with a deceptive damage over time. But the most success I've had has been with a hybrid ability power attack speed build focused on the Phoenix Stance. Do us all a favor and let us know what you made work in the comments. This has been Pharaoh with League Top 10. Letting you know that quitting a champion select is completely inconsiderate.